Welcome to Techie Jack. In our previous video, we installed the CentOS 7 and now in this video, we will try to install CentOS control panel on our CentOS 7 virtual machine. So let's get started. So right now I am on a server and before proceeding with the installation, I would like to suggest you to install PuTTY for a better user experience. So you can just download the PuTTY by typing the PuTTY download on the Google and you will get this link and you can download this software. This is the one we can download. So I have already downloaded it and I have installed this software. You can see here it is downloaded and installed. Let me close this. And you know that our IP for our CWP virtual machine was 192.168.0.90. So let me connect it with this IP. Just put the IP here and there is a default port 22. Just click on open and you need to accept this and let's log in as a root. Let's put the password for this root account. So we are logged in successfully. So let's try to install the required packages for CWP installation. And for that we will run this command yum hyphen y install wget. Let me hit enter. Now the wget package has been installed and let's try to update the server to the latest version. And for that I will run this command yum hyphen y update and will hit enter. It will take some time. I'll pause the video until it get completed. Now our CentOS has been updated to the latest version. Let's reboot the machine. Let's try to reconnect it. You can just click on the restart the session and again we will log in with the root. We are logged in successfully. So let's run this command let cd user local src and let's download the latest version of CWP and I will hit enter. It is downloaded and saved. So let's try to install it now. And for that we have to run this command sh cwp hyphen el7 latest and I will hit enter. Now it will start the installation of CWP cpanel and it may take uh, about 30 minutes because it needs to compile Apache and PHP from the source. So I will pause the video until it get completed. After running that command, you not need to do anything. It will automatically download the packages and will install it. You only have to wait until it get completed. Now the CentOS web panel has been installed and you can see the IP address to access it. And you can see the MySQL root password here. I would suggest you to save this information. I will save this on a notepad. You can see the SSL certificate name is cwp.testingo.in and the location is this. And now it's asking to reboot the machine. Once I reboot the machine, we will try to access this URL. So let me reboot the machine now. Now our machine has been rebooted. So let me minimize this and let's try to open this link. You can see the SSL error that your connection is not private. So ignore it and proceed with unsafe. And now let me put the password. So now you can see we are logged into the dashboard. Earlier it was 1 GB and now I increase it to the 4 GB. So right now it is using 0.56 GB with cache and 0.36 GB with no cache. So this is how it looks like. So now we have here some warning like mod security, firewall and hidden process. The first thing after installation uh, is a firewall. You should enable the firewall immediately once it is installed. So I will just enable the firewall first and I will do a restart firewall. So our firewall has been started successfully. Here we have a navigation pane and here we have a different settings here. And our first step will be to configure the DNS and from the DNS function you can just click on edit name server to add the name server. We will add them later. I just want to show you the look and feel of this dashboard. So our CWP cPanel has been successfully installed and in our next video we will see how we can configure it. Thanks for watching. 
if you enjoy this video and want to see more don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon to get notified whenever i post new content